Hi, welcome to my channel Raw Electron. So today's video is about how to balance charge your sealed lead acid battery properly. So I am making this video on the request of my uh, one of the followers. He asked me that uh, how to balance charge your battery, sealed lead acid battery. He was having almost 3 amp hour 12 volt battery. So different capacities, uh, different batteries are of different capacities are available in the market. So we need a proper voltage and proper current to charge them. So first of all, if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the latest updates. So let's start video. I will clear all the confusions about sealed lead acid battery, their proper charging voltage and charging current. So here I am having a 12 volt 5 amp hour battery. It's a sealed lead acid battery. There are two types of batteries, sealed lead acid batteries. First of all, uh, one is flooded battery, which is uh, in which plates are submerged in sulfuric acid and other liquids. And the second one is, it is sealed, it is maintenance free battery. So I am having a 12 volt 5 amp hour battery. So please make, uh, please keep in mind that uh, for a 12 volt battery, the proper charging voltage is 13.8 volts. So as you can say that uh, these are six cells, two volt per cell is connected in series to obtain a uh, 12 volt battery. They are all in series. So 2.3 volt per cell, it means if we add these, it will become 13.8 volts per cell. It's the optimum charging voltage for a 12 volt battery. If you directly connect a 12 volt supply to the battery, it will not fully charge it. So we need require a voltage of 13.8 volts and not more than 14 volts. And the charging current, as far as the charging current is concerned, for sealed lead acid batteries, it is dangerous to charge them fast. So we require a current of almost 25% of the its of their total capacity. Means here I am having this battery of 5 amp hours. So total I will I will charge it will uh, so if we take its 25% it will become 1.25 ampere. So I will not charge more, uh, it will more than uh, 1.25 ampere. So let's start the video. If you stay to the end of the video, if you have any questions, ask me in the comment sections. I, re I will reply you as you soon as possible. So let's start. Here I am having a buck converter. I said buck. So I am having a buck converter here. If you, it's an XL4015 buck converter. If you have not watched my previous video, the, I will give the link in the description. So go and watch first how to use this buck converter. I always charge my batteries with this balanced buck converter. And I am here a laptop charger. Its output is 19.5 volts. 19.5 volts at 3.4. So it's a almost 65 watt adapter. I will use this to charge my battery. So stay to the end of the video and uh, listen properly so let's start so first of all i will measure the battery voltage you need a multimeter set in on the dc volt and uh, as you can see that it's about 12.35 volts it's already charged to some extent but not at 200 percent so i will charge it and show you how to fully charge properly with proper voltage and current so for this as i i already told you that i am using this uh, charger its uh, output voltage is 13.5 volts at 3.42 amps as you can see that so let's connect it charger is powered up and as you can see that the output voltage of the charger is 19.7 volts as you can see that so i will connect it to you my xl4015 buck converter so there are many questions about this buck converter i will make uh, another video to clear all the confusions about it its input voltage output some people ask me in the comment section that uh, can we give it uh, 25 volt 29 volts yes you can the, it's in its input voltage range is 5 volt to 35 volts means not less than 5 volts and not more than 35 volts it will provide you some step down voltage so let's connect to it 
as the green indicator is on so i will also need a flathead screwdriver to adjust its preset so i have connected as you can see that its output voltage is now 4.38 let's adjust its voltage trim port i will set the voltage to 13.8 volts please keep in mind that the required voltage for 12 volt battery charging voltage is 13.8 volts not more than 14 13.8 is ideal Thirteen point eight. Okay, it's enough. So now I will set the current. Make the multimeter to set the multimeter to current mode, or also you can use the clamp meter. So when you short its output terminals. as you can see that it's set to 3.25 uh, as you can see that it's a uh, 5 amp hour battery so always charge your sealed lead acid battery with uh, 25% value uh, 25% current value of its original capacity means 25% of 5 is 1.25 so i will set the voltage so sorry current to 1.25 amps so rotate the current trim port i will set it to 1.25 on the other hand lithium ion batteries can be charged fastly but uh, the uh, slow charging is best for not too slow charging but it's the optimum charging for this sealed lead acid battery i will set it to 1.25 Yes, it's okay. Now I will connect it to the battery. Please make sure not to short the terminals. Positive is for red, and negative is for black. It's positive, and it's negative. As you can see that when uh, as I connect it to terminals, it, uh, the blue indicator is on. It's the indicator that the battery is charging. So when it will become full. the it automatically cut off the voltage the battery and it's uh, so battery may not will not be overcharged so let's wait for it so i will show you the total 100% charge voltage of the battery so let's wait and see 2000 years later as you can see that uh, the green led is on uh, so the battery is fully charged so let's disconnect it now check the voltage of fully charged 12 volt battery as you can see that it is about 13.66 as i have set the output output voltage of about 13.75 so almost almost is nearly equal to 13.7 volts so you can see 13.64 volts now the battery is almost fully charged or you can see that more than 95% charge so this is the best method to uh, balance charge the sealed lead acid batteries and uh, because they require standard current and constant current charging unlike lithium ion batteries you cannot charge them fully fast because it is dangerous for them so if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section about this module if you have not watched the previous video i will give the link in the description so first watch the video about this xl405 step down module then you can you can understand it completely so hope guys you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you are new so
stay tuned for the next video bye